Over in Warhawk country, boys soccer is in full swing with Seminole going up against a tough Tarpon Spring Spongers team. The Warhawks looking to get a win following their devastating 1-0 loss last week to Berkeley Prep. This game would get underway with the Spongers getting on the board first. Following a penalty by the Warhawks on the field, this would set up number nine Ruben Furstenberg on Tarpon Springs for a penalty shot. His shot would get past Warhawk goalie Jake Seaman, making it 1-0 as the Spongers take an early lead over the Warhawks. But after a pass from number 22, Joey Riker to number 19, Griffin Prestepino, Prestepino would knock the ball past Tarpon goalie Alexander wilson J, tying it up 1-1. One -one. This time, Tarpon Springs would get a yellow card, setting up Prestepino to sink a penalty kick past wilson J. Warhawks held a 2-1 lead, just before halftime. Just before the start of the second half, Seminole would sub in goalie Peyton Huffman and Tarpon wouldn't hold back, striking first, tying up the game two to two. But the Warhawks answered back. Following another yellow card, Prestepino's penalty kick connected with number nine, PJ Slaughter. And Slaughter would tap the ball in, making it three to two. The Warhawks secured the win within the final two minutes of the game. Prestepino's penalty kick blocked by goalie Wilson J, but is rebounded into the net by number 26, Gavin Barrett, making the final score 4-2. And this is what Seminole head coach Rick Massey and captain Kobe Susky had to say about the 2019 soccer season onward. A lot of work to cover to get to where, where we were last year. We talked about it in the locker room before we come out of here, and you know, we can want it, we can say we're going to do it and all that, but unless we go out and put the work in, and mentally when we're on the field, think about what we're doing, it's not going to happen. Basically all we have to do now is start connecting passes and finishing our chances because they're all there to finish, but we're just not finishing, everything goes wide or high or it goes to the other team, and we got to limit our mistakes because when we make a mistake, they punish us. The Warhawks are on the road Monday facing the Lakewood Spartans at 8 p.m. For Stats and Spirals, I'm Brad Richardson. Take it easy.